So I'm a football nut. I've been a football nut ever since I can remember. I mean, when we grew up over here, we learned to play uh, little gritter football. It was called termites. Probably eight or nine years old when I started. And unfortunately, in the community that I lived up in Erie, they didn't have that for the kids. And somebody decided that they wanted to uh, start a football team. So, um, and I want you to be thinking about this process, right? We're going to toughen the boys. And the, um, uh, and I volunteer to help out with the coaching. I go to the uh, first uh, so many practices. One of my sons expressed interest, and so I thought I would help out. And I still remember that first practice being there with all these little boys. And the coaches are trying to get them to hit each other. Now, pro you can imagine, prior to this moment, they have been told to keep their hands to themselves and, you know, you're bigger than your little brother or you're bigger than your sister or you're something or another and you, you aren't supposed to do that. Nice boys don't do that. And actually, not only that piece of it, they also were um, kind of afraid of this notion of just being able to let loose. They weren't sure. And you can see these big white eyes you know, as the guys, I mean, the, the coaches are into it. I want you to use your body as a missile, and I want you to throw yourself at this other person. And they're just like, oh, my God, where's my mother? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, they're like, i got to get out of here. In a matter of two or three weeks, with the exception of just a couple of those little boys, um, they all begin to approximate that notion of what it means to be aggressive in, in football terms. And uh, we go from there to a couple of weeks more, and they have their first game. And my son's playing. And it was a great game. I mean, he was, uh, before the girth gene, we have a girth gene in our family. I don't think he has it, but most of us have it. And, um, uh, and it kicks in at a certain point. So before my son's girth gene kicked in, he was a tight end. He catches a pass. He goes for a touchdown. You know, I mean, I'm just seeing NFL and college scholarships and <laughs> all sorts of things. Um, and so I'm pumped. They win the game, and we're heading home. And I want you to picture this as we're heading home. I've got this old gray 87 caddy. I got the windows down. I got the tunes blaring, right? And I'm pumped. We're driving through the neighborhood, heading home, you know, and I'm telling them what a great game this is. I'm, you know, giving them the elbow. This is a friendly elbow. This is not a violent elbow. This is a, hello, I love you. What a great job you did. And he's not into it at all. I mean, you can see he's just kind of there, right? And I'm like, now I'm steeped. I'm, this is all happening while I'm doing this stuff. So you can imagine I'm really thinking about my boys and how am I going to make sure that they don't excessively contract their boundaries, right? So we pull into the driveway, and he's got that cute little uniform on, right? Got the helmet. and. Um, and we have a cat at that time named Sweetie, black cat, white paws. And you know, he calls the cat Sweetie. And the cat comes over. And very intentionally, he picks up the cat and he just gives it this tender hug. And I'm like, oh, there's something going on here. Then, very much like that cartoon, I don't remember Fernando the bull or whatever, there's this cartoon where he's out sniffing the flowers when he's supposed to be this bull in the bull fights, right? My wife had some wildflowers. She had her flowers and then the wildflowers for the kids to pick. And so he goes over and he picks some flowers. And he's just standing there in his football uniform holding his helmet. Okay. And now I'm really intrigued. And it just ends. And I'm like, crap. Okay. So we go in the house. Don't think anything else of it. Part of our ritual in the mornings, because now we're going to move ahead to the next morning, it's a Sunday morning, is we had this, I had this big um, club chair in the bay window. And when the kids would come down, because I'm, I'm an early bird, um, we would make eye contact at a distance. I'd give them the signal, and they would come running, and they would jump into my lap. And then we would kind of have our snuggle time. Maybe a little noogies too, but mostly snuggle, right? So he sees me, I see him, and I give him the signal. He comes running, boom. <laughs> He's in my lap, we're squeezing, we're holding each other, whatever. And then this little boy, who is nine years old, 
asks me the most profound question that anybody has ever asked me and probably will ever ask me again. He looks up at me and he says, Dad, he's laying there. Is it okay for football players to snuggle? What is he asking me? Think about everything that happened just prior to that. The trip home, he's not into it. He's deliberately trying to hold on to different aspects of who he is, right? Similar to the Amish interview, I got to be a hold of being a little boy just enough because the Amish fellow was concerned he was going to lose those aspects of himself. So what's he asking me? 